Hey friends and resellers, it's Trish with Well Sourced coming at you with my favorite flips from May 2022. These are my top 10 favorite sales from last month that just tickled my fancy, whether they were a quick flip or something I'd had in my inventory for a long time or a great flip. They're just things that made me happy and made me smile that I want to share with you. And the first up is a Disney hat. And this was a Disney Parks straw hat with this black ribbon around it. It was an open knit kind of straw hat and I thought it would be perfect for somebody who was going to one of the parks this summer to wear. It was just an adult size. And I got that at the bins in here in Middle Tennessee in Nashville where I pay $1.29 a pound. That weighed next to nothing. Um, I did not cross list that to other platforms. I did sell that on Poshmark because I knew it would be easier to ship in a large box for one flat rate. That sold for $19 on Poshmark. And I do keep my eye out for Disney Parks things, which we don't get a ton of here in Tennessee, although we're right next to Florida, um, so I'm not sure why we don't have more Disney items. Next up is this brand that I'd never heard of, and nor would I necessarily source this, but the brand is Atrex, A-E-T-R-E-X. It was this Casey slip-on gray suede sneaker. It was a size 40, which was a nine and a nine and a half. These were for my mom. She bought these, tried them on, did not care for them, and they were sitting in her closet. She said, here, take them, resell them, enjoy it. So I had those listed, I think for $50 or $49.99 maybe, and on eBay, and they sold for $46 plus shipping. So for me, that's a great flip because it's 100% profit. I did haul those home in my luggage as my second bag on Southwest Airlines last summer from North Idaho when I went home to visit my parents, or maybe it was this January. So, um, but that's a pure profit. So I'm happy to have been able to sell those. They're a comfort shoe and they were, had a pretty high retail on them. And these had literally just been worn around the house by my mom until she was like, these are not going to work for me. And they were actually very comfortable. I tried them on. Next up is this Mountain Hardware. It was this Michaela Twist black tank dress. I kind of got this when I was first really starting to get serious about part-time reselling, and now I'm a full-time reseller. Um, I can tell by my photos. So this, I must, I'm sure I sourced at full price at $7.99 at a Goodwill. Um, it did not sell, it did not sell, it did not sell. It was a size small. Mountain Hardware, although a good brand, I right up there with North Face and Patagonia for me, um, it doesn't have the best resale for me. So I had this for a long time and I had lowered the price, tried to off it get for $15. No one bought it. Finally, someone bought it for $29.99 plus shipping on eBay. Um, you'll see on here, it said $8.70 shipping. It was calculating some crazy shipping. I think it went to Colorado. And so I just refunded the buyer the difference. If it's a difference of 20 cents, I don't worry about it. But on eBay, sometimes they... Are, it's calculated very crazy for them. And so I will always refund that, especially if I'm sending something first class um, that weighed less than a pound. So this one tickled me because I was happy to see it leave my closet, especially for full price. Next up, this is a um, silk shirt that I got at a regular Goodwill. It was $4.99. And I may have had a discount that day, who knows. But the brand is Morella. Um, I think it was made in Italy. It was a silk floral tie front blouse. It was very pretty. And it was a size medium or European 42 or Italian 42. I The comps were not that great on this, but I, it was a beautiful silk top with these kind of cap sleeves. And I just thought it would be perfect for spring or summer. So I had this listed, I think for 30, $4.99 and someone sent me an offer of $28 on eBay, which I gladly accepted. And that of course went first class, so that was easy to ship. They did pay for shipping. Next up is a pair of Duluth Trading Company. Um, some people sleep on this brand. I've had a really good sell through on it. It's an expensive brand to begin with. I just bought myself the gardening overalls this spring and I will own them until they are no longer <laughs> work or they're threadbare because they're super comfortable um, to do yard work in. They have like gusseting and stretch. And so these Flexpedition pants, and I don't know if they make the Flexpedition anymore. But these are a pull-on pant. They were a size 10 in the longer length. And they're just a kind of a fitted outdoor active pant, super stretchy, super comfortable. Um, I think I got these on Dollar Day. And so they were 
listed for $29.99 on eBay and someone offered me $25 where I sent out an offer and those shipped out to them and I was happy to see those go. Um, and it was a quick sale. I think that was within like two weeks. So I was happy about that. Next up, um, this is a funny sale because it's why I have it listed is because I was in um, our guest room closet the other day where I used to store inventory and there's still a few pairs of shoes in there that I haven't moved to my upstairs inventory. And I saw this pair of Keen Fisherman sandals, which I swear I had listed and maybe I accidentally deleted them. But now that I use Vendu for cross listing, I'm a lot better about not accidentally deleting things. But I could swear I didn't know this was in my inventory. So I looked, sure enough it wasn't, I must have deleted it. I quickly took pictures of these because I thought they'd be perfect for summer. They sold within two days for $29 um, on Poshmark, which I was happy about because they weren't listed, so they were just sitting there earning no money. And I got those at a regular thrift store where I think I paid about $5. <clears throat> Next up is one of those sales where you can source from your own closet. Um, I picked out a lot of nine items, all size 12, which I no longer fit into and not in a good way. Um, it was five skinny jeans, four pair of shorts. The shorts were all basically brand new with tags. I think I bought one summer thinking I was going to lose 40 pounds before summer hit. So they were from maybe last summer or the summer before. They were all JCPenney brands, um, cotton chino shorts and skinny jeans by St. John's, but in good condition. I liked wearing them, they were great. So I lotted those up. They sold within a day on Mercari for $45. I did pay shipping, but it cost me, I think $10 in shipping because I sent it. Mm, I can't remember how I sent it. Maybe it was a flat rate or it may have been a regional box because maybe it went nearby. Um, regardless, that was stuff that was just sitting in my closet, gathering dust and getting no use that I could have just donated to a thrift store, but I sold from my own closet. So there are perks to lotting those items up that are maybe lesser value or resale value to earn 45 bucks. Next up is this um, bikini top and by the brand Venus. I had gotten this at the bins. It was actually pinned to the bottoms and I, they were in great condition, but when I went to photograph the bottoms, part of the seam was missing uh, to where it was kind of unraveling. And so I didn't feel comfortable selling the bottoms, but the top was in great condition. And it was a padded kind of Hawaiian print, tropical floral print top in a size D, which went from 32 double D to like 36 C. There's kind of a range in their cup sizes. And I just went ahead and listed that. Um, I did get it at the bins, it weighed, you know, six ounces. And I sold that for $17 with free shipping on Mercari, but still a great flip. And I was happy to see it go because it was a real fun print. And I thought it would be perfect to pair even with just a black pair of bikini bottoms. Next up is a Soma bra. This is on a, a trip where I got the bikini and I sourced a bunch of bras. I don't always source bras, but I did this time. This was a Soma bra. It was the cooling balconette bra and it was very structured and it was in a 34 triple D, which is a 34 F. Um, this sold very quickly on Mercari for $25 and I was happy to offer free shipping for that. I do box up bras that sell on Poshmark in like the cube box size, coffee mug sized, box from USPS, but because I was shipping this first class on my own dime, I just put bubble mailer or bubble um, air, you know what I'm talking about, the little pouchy things, pillows, good gravy, pillows in between the cups and I fold them over and I give it a little extra padding, but because I am paying for that, I try to give it a little extra um, padding as I'm shipping it first class so it's not a structure, just so those cups don't get bent down. Um, but Soma is a nice brand and this sold very quickly. It was in a great tan color and just a, a essential for someone's closet. Next up, I sold this pair of, the brand was Mate, M-A-T-E. I had gotten this from the bins and I've said it before, uh, my local bins do not have the best cell phone service inside of them. And so sometimes I just have to wing it and just go with my gut on things. These were a waffle neck kind of cropped pull on lounge pant and a gray color. And they um, were organic cotton, the you know GOTS certified 
organic cotton and they had like a you are what you wear kind of thing in the center of it and it was made without pesticides not treated with anything so they're just very natural clothing they retail for over a hundred dollars these pants and so i was glad when i brought them home i listed them i think for 65 dollars cops were sort of all over the place but they were in a size medium and not just an extra extra small or an extra small so kind of a more average size and i got some lowball offers on it but i just wasn't ready to part with it because i just thought they were a great pant and because someone could go to the website and purchase them brand new not on sale they didn't seem like they ran a lot of sales on their website for a hundred dollars i felt like i could make a good offer to somebody on poshmark or one of my other platforms that i list on and so someone um purchased these for 58 dollars, and i was so happy to see those go out and they were just a great pant and somebody is going to enjoy those this summer for sure okay there you have it those are my top 10 favorite flips for may 2022 just some brands that maybe you haven't heard of or some brands that you don't normally source. I typically sell bread and butter brands and I'm happy to do so. Sometimes I get lucky and find a brand that I haven't heard of and maybe you haven't heard of either. So I'm happy to share that with you. So if you are interested in following me along on my journey as I'm a full-time reseller here in Tennessee, go ahead and subscribe, hit that bell to be notified of any future content that I post and you can follow along with me. Thanks so much. See you next time. Take care.